Friends, this is a cataract with grade 2 nucleosclerosis. Let us see the management of this case. By this time, the main incision and two sideboards have been made. And now, this is an air bubble. I want to stain the anterior capsule of this cataract with tripan blue dye underneath this air bubble. Here is the dye. And now, a bit of adrenaline diluted 50% is being injected to see if the people dilates a little more. The adrenaline didn't have dramatic effect in this case but little bit more dilatation occurred. And now this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now Capsulorexis is to be done. I usually use a 26 gauge main needle to incise the capsule and raise a beautiful tag which I can hold easily with uterta. Here it is. I hold this tag with uterta forceps, go all around, remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the people, and thus I get a round rexis. This can be done with the cystitome itself through the side port, but we must learn the use of uterta forceps because uterta gives more control over the anterior capsule. And now hydro dissection is to be done. PSS is passed just under the anterior capsular rim and at this time we must see the fluid wave going from one side to the opposite side. Here it is. Yes, now the nucleus is ballotted and rotated. SPMC is injected again and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. This is nuclear sclerosis grade 2. It is not easy to hold such nuclei. So, see what is the way. Just remove some superficial cortical matter, turn the tip Make the bevel off. Now hold the nucleus right at the center. Don't go beyond the center. Here it is. And chop it. Hold just at the center and chop. If you cross the central area and reach the softer part, you will not be able to hold it and it will not get chopped. So, in grade 2 nuclear sclerosis, only the central part can be held by the vacuum. Now this is the other heminuclei, just tilted it and started emulsifying it. FECO power used in this case is 40%, flow rate is 35 ml per minute and vacuum is for 350 millimeter of mercury. And now, cortical cleanup is to be done. I inject visco again. Take a 23 gauze Simco cannula and remove the cortical matter in few seconds. Simco is just like coaxial IA. We can manage with on side port if we use Simco. So cortical cleanup is done and little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule is also done. And now in this case we have selected a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens because the patient belongs to poor socioeconomic group. And here is the lens. And now the lens is dialed by the irrigating probe itself. Whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartis is irrigated out. And now little bit of moxifloxacin is injected. Now the side ports are closed. 
by stromal hydration. The stroma, corneal stroma on either side of these step wounds are hydrated and the lips of these step wounds oppose. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. I go be behind the eye well and irrigate the capsular bag and thorough cleaning of viscoelastic substance is done and in this case the rexis has been very nice you can see the rexis is overlapping the rim of the optic all around the wounds are checked and the case is concluded thank you very much hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with great skills and compassion and empathy Thank you for your attention.